hard was that mentally? Uh, it's crazy to go from thinking you won the game to just having to go back to, you know, possibly going out there again in overtime. So, I mean, it was just definitely a roller coaster ride of a game. You know, your life is like a moving picture. Jordan Wynn suddenly retires due to injury, which throws you right into the spotlight. How are you handling the pressure? Uh, pretty well. I mean, uh, a similar situation happened last year with Jordan, and it uh, gave me a lot of experiences of how to deal with it. And, you know, I'm just going off what I learned last year. Now, do you feel more like Mox from Varsity Blues, a little arrogant, and more like a Matt Saracen from Friday Night Lights, who's the humble hero, or like a Willie Beeman from Any Given Sunday, the black guy? Willie Beeman. Man, I'd say, uh, I'd say more like the Friday Night Lights quarterback, but I mean, I want to be like Mox, and that's one of my favorite movies of all time. Nice. Hopefully he has a prettier <laughs> girlfriend. <laughs> now, Johnny, notice that you don't have a Twitter account. I know someone created a fake account for you. Do you have any plans to jump on the Twitter bandwagon? Uh, you know, maybe. Uh, I'm trying to stay off social media sites, you know. Uh, can be some crazy things said on there. Uh, just try to stay away from that and, you know, focus on football. Do you know who created your fake account? Uh, I don't know. It was one of these fans out here. Uh, we got some great fans. Uh, they had some great lines on there. Uh, but I don't know who did it. You're just trying to stay out of trouble, huh? Yeah, just trying to, you know, not make the ticker. Well, so what happened? Aaron Rodgers sent you a shout-out to the wrong account? Uh, yeah, well, it was a fake account, and last year, you know, right this time we were about to play Arizona State, uh, gave me a shout-out for my first start, and, you know, whoever it was after that got a lot more followers. Yeah, I know what that's like. I had a fake account created of me. I found out it was Kanye West. The guy has, like, millions of followers now trying to be Reese Waters. Now, I mentioned the ladies earlier. What I really want to know is how hard is it to study your playbook when you can have, like, ten girlfriends at the same time? Oh. Nah, I only got one. One's enough for me. Uh, been with her long enough. She understands the preparation it takes, you know, to start on Saturdays. So, I mean, one's all I can handle. Uh, the rest of the time I would spend on the other nines is uh, spent on football. Well, are you allowed to truly enjoy each other, or is this like a BYU situation? Ah, uh, this is, uh, you know, we don't have the honor code, so, I mean, you yeah. know, a relationship. <laughs> yeah, that should, this, that should be Oregon's commercial right here for all Oregon games. We don't have the honor code, we get it in. <laughs> all right, let's talk about your upcoming opponents. You got ASU and then USC. Does your team's game plan change at all now that you're starting your Pac-12 matchup? Uh, you know, we game plan for every opponent. Um, you know, all eyes are on Arizona State right now. They're a good football team. Uh, you know, they lost Missouri last week, but it was a tight game against an SEC opponent. So, I mean, all eyes on Arizona State, really. And, you know, we game plan for what they do. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We welcome again Utah's quarterback, John Hayes. Best of luck this weekend. Is there any shout-outs you want to give to your boys? Uh, just shout-out to my little brother, man, playing uh, quarterback at my high school. Uh, you know, they got a big rivalry game against... Uh, Aaron Rodgers High School this week, so to him and all the kids on the Paradise football team, man, go win. Look at that Utah, wholesome to the end. Thanks a lot, John. <laughs> all right, thank you. Let's check back in on our